Here we have uh, special products and the focus learning target is I can find squares of sums and differences and I can find the sum of a the product of a sum and a difference. So uh, we have the first pattern. It's the square of a sum pattern. Here we have two numbers that are summed and uh, it's taken to the power of two. So when this is the case, what we have is a plus b times a plus b. Um, and so if we use the FOIL method or the distributive method or the, um, the times table format, um, we're going to get the same result. We're going to get a squared plus 2 times a times b plus b squared. Right. So we can do a shortcut here. What we can do is, given this uh, problem, right, we have two numbers that are added together and we take the square of it. Um, we can identify our a as the first term in the polynomial and our b as the second term in the polynomial. So in this case, our a will be 2x and our b will be 1. And then uh, this here, this first term here is going to be a squared. Right. So you can see the squares <coughs> at the <coughs> you can see the squares already out there outside of the parentheses. So we're just going to put our a inside the parentheses. It's going to be two x squared plus two times a times b. So that's two times two x times one. Right. A is two x and b is one. And then lastly, we have b squared. So we'll just put a b inside of the parentheses. A one squared. Right. <coughs> So then if we work all of this out, uh, we can get our final answer. So 2x squared would be 2x times 2x. So that's going to be 4x squared plus 2 times 2 times 1 is 2. So plus 2x. Um, and then over here, we'll have 1 squared, which is just 1. And so we have our final answer. Um, so if you have a sum that uh, is taken to the power of 2, we can use this pattern to quickly find our answer instead of using the FOIL method. <coughs> Here uh, we can find the square of a difference pattern. So you see it's not a plus b, it's a minus b to the power of 2. It follows the same format on the same pattern, except this is minus 2 times a times b as your center term. So if this is our problem, 3x minus 5y to the power of 2, uh, our a is going to be 3x, our b is going to be 5y. Notice it is not negative 5y, it is 5y. <coughs> and then we're going to go and substitute in our values. So it's going to be 3x for a here. <coughs> it's going to be 3x for a here and a 5y for b. And then down here for b squared is going to be... Ooh, 5y. Right. So then we'll go ahead and work out the math. 3x times 3x, right, because this is 3x squared, is going to be 9x squared. Uh, this one here is going to be negative 2 times positive 3 times positive 5. That's going to be negative 30. Um, and then we have an x times a y, so it's going to be xy. <coughs> and then at the end, we have 5y squared, so that's going to be 5 times 5 is 25. Uh, y squared, and that's our final answer. Right. Um, so again, this is all different techniques to save you time when you find that it fits one of these patterns, a plus b squared or a minus b squared. And in this case, we have uh, a sum times a difference. So we have a plus b times a minus b. <coughs> and this is like the most useful of the patterns because it's simply a squared plus b squared. So if we look at this problem, we can see this is what we have. We have a times b, uh, a plus b times a minus b. Okay, so our a is our 3y, and our b is going to be our 2. Um, and so this is really easy when you have this kind of a pattern because all you need to do is put your a here, our 3y, and our b over here, our 2. And then we are going to do the square. So 3y times 3y is going to be 9y squared minus 2 times 2 is going to be 4. So we have that there. Um, so yeah, why don't we stop and we can move on in the next video.